Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ichimoku Show. I am the Ichimoku Trader. I'm going to do my quick recap for the day. It is the April 13th, 2022. Uh, not a whole lot coming up on the scanners today that looked very good. Uh, I am practicing a new way of trading through my uh, book trader on interactive brokers, uh, kind of mixed with my hotkeys. So I had some issues uh, actually getting some of the fills that I wanted and uh, trying to get out of a couple of trades that didn't quite work out. Um, but regardless, I was able to minimize the losses to what was my loss today. Total loss today, 92.50. Um, but that's okay. I'm in the simulator right now just kind of trying to hone my my entries and exits using hotkeys and the book trader like i was saying so today um i had some guests on the show my good friend javier and his sister aura uh both uh very interested in the trading and i uh, thank them for coming uh so i'm going to uh quickly get into this i took one two three four five trades on the day uh started out with a 12 uh, 50 profit uh, on the first trade lost 32 on the second 55 on the third gained 10 on the fourth and uh, lost 27 50. Uh, this is my first red day in since for the year uh, so i haven't had a red day i haven't traded every single day because of course i had that heart attack so that put me out for a couple of weeks and i didn't even get started uh till january 31st so let's get right into uh my trades uh, i won't take long on this because uh, uh this wasn't exactly the ichimoku strategy i was testing some of my uh settings so of course uh, it's not going to work out exact but let's uh, go here so i'm watching on this one i'm expecting this to actually reach the high and actually break uh i do have a set up here as you can see make sure i'm not in the video here move this over here so that you can see so right here we have uh, a cross below the 10 which i like to for my entries i like to see that for the entries so i actually got in here at exactly 1179 um, and i sold at 1184 uh, i just kind of got in and out of that one um had some difficulties with that book trader so i think either my internet or i'm just not uh set up quite right with the actual execution um in here so normally like what i do is i find my entry where i would like to be i'm confirming here on the macd that it's crossing back up so i felt fairly confident on this candle to go in um unfortunately uh didn't quite go the way that i was expecting i by the time i got over here and started selling so this is why i'm going to start with my hotkeys as well uh be able to cancel all orders and uh get out when i want but i was i was having some issues anyway still made some profit 1250 on that one let's go on to the next here I am, and there we go. So uh, at the end of this candle here, I'm looking, it looks like we're crossing again back up on the stochastics, and then we have the MACD here. It's crossing, it's starting to curl back up. I thought, okay, now we can start making new highs on the day. So I got in, and unfortunately, I got out 11.75. That was a 32-euro loss. Continue on. There we go. So the main thing here is when you're trading, you're managing risk, you're managing your losses. That's the, that is your focus is taking little losses and waiting for the large gains. And uh, for me, I can take many little losses as long as I find that one gain, which will come in the future. So we're just going to continue on here. I don't want to take this video too long because uh, there wasn't a whole lot going on on the day and I wasn't completing the uh, Ichimoku strategy. I was practicing my keys. So here was a, just a, a horrible entry. 
<laughs> just a horrible entry. Uh, but I mean, you're going to have days like this in trading and that's, that's the whole thing. You have to get used to having these losses. You need to have losses and you need to get used to, to it. Um, because it's part of the game. And, uh, when you come to your statistics at the end, your metrics, it's it's important that you're always looking at that, the big picture, and not a single loss. So here on this one here, I'm in at um, doo -doo -doo, uh, that's 67, okay? And out uh, at 72, made a little profit on that one. Let's continue on here. So I got out on this one. Again, I was fangling around trying to get out up here, and I ended up getting filled down here. That's just experience. Once I'm better with uh, setting this book trader up over here, I'm going to, I feel like this is the better way for me to trade. Um, but really, I was trading a little more because I had guests today. I went a little longer than I usually do. I uh, should have just, you know, called it a day after the first three losses. Normally, that's what a lot of traders do. Three losses, you're out for the day. Um, but I'm also teaching people, so I want to continue going a little longer today so that I could show them. Um, but again, I'm just managing my risk, and uh, that's it. So that's in and out. And you're really waiting for your Ichimoka setups. Um, so in this instance here, where is it? Uh, there it is. You're above the midpoint line. You have to be above, okay, on your MACD. On stochastics, if you're going to go long to the upside, you need your stochastics to be below here to enter. You have to have a green cloud to go long in the front. Your... Oh, uh, cancel... Your lagging indicator has to be clear of all the price action and your clouds has to be clear like this. It looks good. Uh, so this one's looking good for the Ichimoku setup, but we need to get our entry. So this stochastic has to be low. So let's continue. Still looking here, looking for that point. And I went in because I wanted to, I was programming my, my hotkeys at the same time as trading today. So I programmed another hotkey and I uh, wanted to hit it to see if I could get to the high here, which is more of a momentum trade. It's not an Ichimoku setup. Uh, so this here, um, again, just practicing in, in the simulator here on this trade. I'm programming the new hotkeys. And uh, anyways, uh, on that last one, there was a 27 loss, so that wasn't a good one either. But again, I couldn't get out when I wanted to get out. I didn't even get in when I wanted to get in. But uh, lessons learned. I need to practice a little bit more with the uh, hotkey setup with uh, the book trader. Because book trader hotkey system is different than your regular um, interactive brokers. Um, order entry, for example, the order entry uh, hotkeys. So you have to set them up totally different. Uh, the Inside those setups, yes, it's the same same settings, ask plus 10, 10 cents or 20 cents, whatever you want, uh, as well as your, your, your stops. So here uh, for the year, we'll go through my day. It was a negative 92.50 day. Not a great day, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, losing 92 in a day is not bad. Um, when it, they could be a lot worse, you can see there's lots of times when it just dumps. Lots of times when it goes up, right? But uh, the point is, is that you're limiting your losses so that you can make those big gains. And um, so that's it, 92 there. Started January 31st. I'm up 79.84 on the year. Uh, trades, there's 76 trades. Okay, we have 59 wins, uh, 17 losses. Uh, and uh, so that's a 77.63% a success rate. And 
total losses 880 total wins 790 84 like i said and then we have a profit loss ratio of 1 to 2.60 that's really really good that means that i'm keeping my losses small so that when i hit the big gains i hit the big gains um uh, that's the most important is your percentage of success and your profit loss ratio and then uh my largest loss still is 280 my biggest win is 775 my other one was 770 1775 and 1710 so um in saying that i'm gonna just end the day um wasn't a great day for ichimoku setups uh, tomorrow is another day. Uh, I'm going to hopefully find a little bit better stocks to trade. But uh, watching everybody online, there a lot of people had issues today. Um, if they did make anything, they made very little. And um, they were kind of in and out. Uh, Ross Cameron made a lot, but he trades uh, pre-market and he trades a huge amount of shares. So, anyways... Uh, Thank you for watching the show and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow's another day. Thank you very much.